Hello, everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you this evening? Oh, what are those faces, guys? <laughs> like, what's going on? Well, I'm happy to hear you, and I'm glad that you're with me tonight. And I don't see a lot of people tonight. Kenya, Galdames, could you please? Yeah, now there you are. Thank you. I know that was Anna. Kenya Galdames, I don't see you. Michelle, Vidal. Please turn the cameras on. Lisette, I don't know. I think you told me something about the camera. Maybe put it down somewhere. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Now I see you all. Welcome. We're going to continue practicing here. Do you have questions about phrasal verbs, by the way? Or is it all clear? All good? The problem is there are a lot of phrasal verbs. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually a problem. Yes, you're right. <laughs> but. I mean, don't get overwhelmed. As long as you understand the phrasal verbs we're studying, you're good. Don't try to memorize 10,000, okay? Just 12, <laughs> the 12 phrasal verbs we're studying. All right, now we're gonna change topics, okay? Um, everybody access the platform, please. Let me see here. Minimize. One second. Here we are. We're going to start section 1.7, all right? Let's go there, everyone. And Michelle Vidal, can you read the objective, please? Michelle? You're on mute. Um, participants will practice making requests using models can, could, would, and will you mind? Plus germs. Plus a germ. Very good. We're going to watch a video. Everybody, please take your notebooks out so that you can take notes on how to conjugate. Okay? Please be ready. Let's take notes. Here we go. Hi. We're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a germ. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, I will explain this, all right? 
let me see. We go from less formal to more formal, right? So this is the least formal chain. And this is the most formal out of the four. Um, this is going to depend on the person and it's also going to depend on the favor. I will explain how. So this is easy because you have a modal and you don't modify the verb. How do we do that? Pay attention guys because you're going to practice soon. Let me see. So we have, remember we have can, could, and would, right? The most formal one is would you mind? Would you mind with ing? And here you're going to conjugate it with the base form of the verb. So meaning you're not going to change it, right? And so it depends. This will depend on the person you're talking to and how comfortable you are. And it would also depend on the favor. So either or. For example, imagine you're talking to, to a stranger. All right, the situation is you're talking to a stranger. And, and you want them to take a picture for you, okay? How can we say that? How would you request that following this structure? Okay. Let me see, um, Lenin, what, the, what are you thinking? Pizza? Maybe could you take me a picture? Could you, could you take? Could you take a picture, please? Maybe please, right at the end. Could you take a picture, please? Yep, that works. Because it's not a big deal, right? Although they're strangers, it's not a big deal. Okay, now imagine um, you're talking to your best friend, right? Pay attention to this. You're talking to your best friend, but you need to stay in their house for 10 days. So what would you say? You want to stay in their house for 10 days. How would you conjugate? How, what would you use? Can, could, would, or would you mind? We have four options, guys. And what do you think, Saida? Saida Jimenez. How would you say it? Um, could you mind? Would you mind? Why? This is a difficult one. Let me see. Would you mind? And then the verb with ing, all right? Would you mind letting? We're using this one right here. Would you mind letting me stay in your house for 10 days? I think that Sarah Kurt. decided to use this because it's a big Kurt. favor, right? Mm -hmm. Kurt. But when you use would you mind, it's a, maybe it's a formal way or a most, more, more polite way to say the, the or as a favor yes. or not. Yes, it's very formal, but it also depends on the favor, okay? Because um, it's, if it's a really big favor, then you're using more words. Like, would you mind letting me stay in your house for 10 days? Even if it's your best friend, you see what I'm saying? Mm. So it depends on the two things, on the person and also on the, the kind of favor you're when asking. It's a, a difficult, is, it, when, when it's not too easy to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. To use a, would you mind? Would you mind or would, you decide. It's up to you, it's your decision. Okay. All right, some other examples. We're gonna do one example for each one and then you will practice. Um, okay, now we're gonna use a favor using would. All right, would, we're gonna say, would you lend me your notebook? Okay, yeah, it's not a big favor, but imagine it's a classmate, right? You're not gonna say, hey, can you lend me your notebook? No, would you lend me your notebook? Or would you lend me a pen? 
Okay, because it's not a big favor, but it's not all. It's not your best friend. It's a classmate, right? Classmate. It's here. Fan, so not a big deal. Yes. Uh, I have a question. In this case, let me. Uh huh. He says borrow me. Ah, okay. You have two ways to say it. That's a good question. Hold on, give me one second. Ah, my back. <laughs> We're working from home all day. And you too, right? So look, here's the difference. Lend and borrow. You can use both. Um, this is one of those few things I'm going to say in Spanish, right? This is tomar prestado. Okay? And to lend is when you give something. That later you're going to ask in return, of course, right? So you can say both. Mm, you can say, can I borrow? Can I borrow your pen? Is possible, but would I borrow your pen? No, that's not possible. This is the only acceptable way. Okay, is it clear? Yes, it is. Okay, great. So we're gonna work on the conjugation. Okay, don't forget. Let's read the examples here because we're about to practice. Okay, repeat after me. Can you? Let me see. Yeah. Can you turn the stereo off? Can you, Can you turn, turn the stereo, stereo off? off? Who do you think this person is talking to? Who? What? Who do you think the person is talking to? I think the parents. Yeah, right. Maybe. Or the neighbor. Oh, no. Not your no. neighbor. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell my neighbors. No, I would be like, "Excuse me, um, would you mind turning the stereo off? It depends." Okay, so maybe they're talking to their children, right? Okay, repeat after me. Uh, could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Okay, now would you mind and pay attention to this? So look, guys, this is very important. When you practice, please don't make mistakes with this. So if you use can, could, and would, you're going to use the verb, okay? The way it is. If you use would you mind, you have to use ing. If you notice here, you have ing, ing. That's the gerund form. Repeat after me. Would you mind turning the stereo down? You Would mind. you mind closing the stereo down. down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would, Would you mind closing, closing, the, door? Mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Would you mind, Would you mind not, not putting your, your garbage, garbage here? here? That's not the right intonation. It would be better to say, Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Go ahead. Would you mind not putting Would you the mind? papers here? Would you mind <laughs> right. <laughs> that sounded good. I liked it. It was great. All right. So now I'm going to send you some common favors people ask. All right. And you're going to determine. Here it is. Hold on. Give me one second. Please let me use your com. Please put my bed. Okay. Everybody check what's up right now, please. Eight to nine. And you will see this image. Open the image. Take a look, please. We're going to have fun now. Um, hold on. Did you receive it, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes great. teacher. All right, hold on. Yes. First, let's do this exercise because I need this topic to be clear before you start practicing speaking. Okay, so it has to be clear. Let's do this exercise. So we are on section 1.9. Number one, Kelvin. Kelvin, could you lend me $20? He's mm. gonna be like, no, <laughs> sorry. It's only an example, go ahead. Are you kidding? Kidding. I, I don't get cash right now. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash right now. 
Oh, guys, something that is very important is that if you say, I don't have, don't say, I don't have cash. No, you need to say, I don't have any, okay? In the negative any form, you cash. always have to say any, okay? Any. You cannot say, I don't have cash. I don't have any always? cash. Always, yes. Okay. That is the right structure. Okay, two. Anybody can participate. Go ahead. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. 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 Okay. Sorry. Can you get me a sandwich? I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. Okay. Next. Any participant? Guys, participate, please. All right. Read the question and the answer. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ana Magaña. Go ahead, go ahead. Can you help me move to my new house? Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is either number six. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Yeah, maybe. Move to my new house. You understand that, right? Yes, good. Could you let me your hair brush? As you said, this or hair brush? Hair brush. Yes, but hair we're hair doing brush. the ones on the platform right now. So that we're going to do later. Let's focus on the platform for one second here. So, Carla de Marin, go ahead. Four. Don't you mind not sitting here? Mm -hmm. um, we are um, I am sorry, I don't cry away. Mm, no, you cannot do that immediately. You cannot do it right away. Would you mind not sitting here? Any other options, guys? Sorry, sorry. I didn't I release the seat. Was sorry, I didn't release. Oh, yes, I didn't realize, realize. the seat was taken. Right. What is the meaning of realize? I didn't realize. No me di cuenta. Yes. That's right. Five. One hole. So you move your car from my space? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I do it right away right away right away right away right away, away. yes very good okay uh, rebecca monterosa would you mind not talking so loudly uh, loudly not talking so loudly 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 the answer is we are sorry. We'll talk more quietly. I'm sorry. We'll talk more Part quietly. Quiet. Okay. Let's check. And everything is right. Good job. And so everybody finished this section. 1.9. Yes. yes. Okay. So now let's see what do we have to use. I want to open the image so you can see it with me. Everybody has access to it, I think. Take a look. I'm going to open it. Give me one second. What is the first favor in the image, guys? What does it say? Could you let me use your car? Let me use your car. All right, very good. Take a look here. This is the image, right? So this first, first we're gonna decide, okay, what are the favors that annoy you the most and why? We're gonna have that discussion first, okay? Let me write it for you. What favors annoy you the most? What about the least? So meaning what favors annoy you the least? Is that clear? 
now. What is the meaning of annoy, guys? Molestar. Molestar. Okay, so what favors annoy you the most and the least? All right. Those are the questions. And you have to explain why. You can also include your own examples. So not only the ones here, you can also include your own examples. First, we're gonna have that discussion, okay? Don't use can, could, forget about that right now, okay? Just talk about the favors that I know you the most. Is that clear? And the reason. Let's practice, okay? We're gonna practice that in small groups of three. And here it is. So accept the invitation, please. I will send you this through WhatsApp, but you can also take a screenshot, all right? Let's practice. <coughs> Go ahead. Accept the invitation, everyone. Click on accept. Right in the WhatsApp or not? No, or or it's free. It's free. No, it's oh. it's first. Yeah. Let's discuss about these. Those are the yeah. questions. Yeah. And what are the ones that annoy you the most and the least? From this and in real life, right in general, we can discuss those. Yeah. yeah. Eduardo, though we can't see you. Okay, so let's begin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can start. For example, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the the most mm -hmm. common thing is that that I can ask, for example, to my husband, is this possible he can buy, if, if he can buy something for me because I don't have too much time. Okay. Hmm? Right. But what favor annoys you that somebody asks you? I think take uh, uh Take care of my pet uh, while I'm away. I think it's mo it's one of the most annoying. I think because I give my pet uh, somewhere else. I don't. I I think it's uh, more like it? annoying. Yeah. But you have pets, Pedro. Yeah, yeah I have three cats. Ah, okay. <laughs> No, 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 but this but is you don't a favor, a favor they ask you to do, not that they want uh, you to no. Do no, they say, hey, can you take care of my dog? I will leave him here for the day. Yeah, what, what? yeah, but anyway, yeah. Ah, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. You know, the favor that I hate the most is when people tell me, can I, can I borrow your shoes or your clothes? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Yeah. I can't, I can't do that. That's the most annoying one. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Eduardo? Hold on. Eduardo, or at least continue, guys. I will check other guys, okay? I'll be okay. Back. The wow. reason for me. <laughs> I think it's the same when you arrange your makeup. Yeah. You cannot do that. <laughs> 
What is the oh. most annoying oh. flavor? Sorry? Sorry? For me, the top three annoying top three annoying favors for me are okay, can I stay in your house? Oh no. <laughs> That's terrible. The other one is uh, can I borrow your shoes or your clothes? I hate that. And three is lend me money. Those three are the, the most annoying ones. <laughs> what do you think? What about yours? Your top three? I think it's the same. The same? Okay. Yeah. And for you? For me, uh -huh. lend money. Uh, yeah. Lend my makeup also. Yeah. Anti hygienic. Uh, okay. And lend my, my clothes. Okay. <laughs> Pretty similar. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, continue. And what are some favors that you don't mind being asked? But you're like, no, it's okay, I can do it. Me too. Mm -hmm. Especially when we don't have money. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> could you lend one hundred dollars? One hundred? You need a hundred. <laughs> okay, and now I need to buy a bicycle. Oh, but that's I need to too buy much. A motorcycle. That's too much money for a bicycle. One hundred dollars? Mm, it's okay. You can get a, a new scan. motorcycle. More. Oh, you need a thousand dollars for I that. I need a motorcycle. A thousand. A thousand. <laughs> okay, guys, and what favors okay. you don't mind being asked? And you say, oh, it's okay, I can do it. It's not a problem. What favors? Uh, give someone to any place. Uh, People crash. My car. Vladimir. Uh, tell me. How many... Yeah. How many accidents in your life? <laughs> How many accidents have you uh -huh. had? Have you had? Have you had? Yeah. In my life, only two. Um, drive me to the airport. No problem with you. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to make the top three of the most annoying favors people can ask you. What are they? Number one, what's the most annoying favor somebody can ask you? Lend money. Lending money. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> 20 people said lending money is the most annoying one. Okay. <laughs> what is the second most annoying favor somebody can ask you? Lending, lending my car. Yes. Lending the car. I agree. Okay, that too. And because three. Because the child, uh, the heart, lit very garbage in my car. <laughs> they have a lot of garbage. I don't people. like. I don't like clean my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only problem. We can have many. Okay, and number three. What do How you do you say in English, teacher? Le uh, I don't lend in my car because in, in the street, the boys uh, vomit. Ah, they, How do you say it? They throw up. Sí. Throw up. Wow. What about your friends, Sarah? What's going on with your friends? <laughs> they leave garbage and, and they puke. What's going on here? <laughs> Check on those. Okay, number three. Mm. I don't like lending my thing personal. Personal things. Do you all agree? Yeah, it's true. Yes. Uh -huh. Lending agrees. Right. I agree. Very good. Now, I want you to tell me three things that are not annoying. Three favors that you can, you can do and you don't have a problem with them. 
I don't have a problem with care of pets. Ah, taking care of pets, okay. What about, hey, can you, can you take care of my children <laughs> for one day? <laughs> have you ever had that one? <laughs> That's a difficult one. That's yeah. A very difficult one. <laughs> it's very delicate too. Okay, another favor you don't mind being asked. Teacher, mm -hmm. I don't lend in my cell phone. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to lend anything, sir. <laughs> no. No, but if you have those kinds of friends, you shouldn't. Don't lend them anything. Nothing. All right. Okay. I have passport all the time. Great. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Here's what we're going to do now, guys. I need you to use all the conjugations. Okay. So this time we're going to write examples. Yeah, for instance, we're going to say, what is the best way to say, let me use your car? Can you say, can, I will show you the three ways. All right, hold on. You can say, can you let me use, can you let me, can you let me use your car? Okay. Could I use your car? Would you let me use your car? Or finally, would you mind? What is the difference here with the verb? Ing. Ing, exactly. Would you mind letting me use your car? Very good. So we have four options, right? But I only need you to conjugate each example with the one that you find appropriate. So if I have to choose one for this favor, which is the most appropriate one? One, two, three, or four? Nine. Would you mind? I think. That's a personal decision, so would you mind letting me use your car? Okay, maybe this is the most appropriate one. So I only want you to write the sentence that is the most appropriate, but please everybody write it down, not, not like, Oh, Delia, you're going to write the, the, the answer. It's no, right? Don't delegate. Everybody writes the question, the, the request. So we're going to write eight, eight total, okay? Because when we finish, I will call your name and you will have to tell me the, the sentence, okay? Let's do that. We're going to work in groups of three with different people this time. Okay, any questions? Questions? No? Okay, accept the invitation then. Let's get writing. Here we go.
conjugue the the old phrase word with the same conjugation or, or not? Yeah. Yes, we have oh. conjugations, right? Check the example. I sent another image, Eduardo. Check the last image. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 the... So it's, would you mind letting use your car? Would you mind letting me use your car? Yeah. <laughs> no, good, good, good job. Um, hola. Um, call you drive me to the airport? Yeah, it's one way. Uh, the other way, for example, is a can you drive me to the airport? Okay. Other, Eduardo? Yeah, I think too. Yeah. Would you mind? Is more polite, be is very long the, the sentence. Yes. It's And the next, maybe, would you mind? Let me. About the tree? You, you would you mind lending me some money? Okay. Yes. And what about number four? I think for me is can you lend me can you your hair brush, hair brush, hair brush, hair brush? Oh, can you? A oh, cool. Can you lend can me you? your hair brush? Can you? Can you lend me? Uh, number five, uh, I think that uh, good your mind, but I don't know. Taking my taking care of my pet, but I use good. <laughs> Let me go hair brush. No, thank you. <laughs> well, if it is my mother, yes, but if it is any other person, no. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes, I think the same. The same. Um, the next. The next, could you hold me? Move into my new apartment. 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 Cool. Me? Okay. No, cool. Cool. Yeah. What drive? Cool drive. drive. Cool drive. <laughs> Have you finished? Yeah. Would you drive me to the airport? 
me llevaría a saber cuál. Good. Ajá, good. Do you drive me to the airport? Dejar ese hábito va a ser duro. Sí. Bueno, hablamos inglés. <risa> okay. You finished? Yes. Yep. You finished? All right, let's go back then. Okay, you practiced? Yes, teacher. Is it clear now? A little, teacher. Yes. A little, all right. Some of you finished, not all of you, I know. Help me out, let's do this quickly. So the first one, eh, Eduardo Magaña. Everybody be ready because I will call your name probably. Okay, Eduardo Magaña, number one. What is your example? Can't hear you. Yes, yes. And drive my me to the airport is the first example for you. No, let me use your car. What did you write? Oh, okay. Could cool you let me use your car? Okay, good. And next. Anna Magaña. Would you mind letting, lending me some money? Yeah, that's number three. The airport, Vladimir. Okay. Would you drive me to the airport? Uh -huh. But that would be probably your well, father, that... right? <laughs> okay, very good. Next. Uh, Irania Figueroa. You're on mute. We don't hear you. <laughs> Irania, we don't hear you. Okay, Richard. Remember, you guys are on mute. Richard or Irania, guys, be ready. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, letting? Letting lend some money. Would you mind lending me some money? Okay, we have moved on to the hairbrush. Okay, Enrique Ortega. You're on mute. Teacher. Yes. Uh, ask me the number five, me, please. Okay, tell me number five. Tell me, go ahead. Ask me. Ask me, you. <laughs> you want me to ask you for that favor? <laughs> All right, here I go. Um, can you hear my pet? Okay, because you're my student, I will be very polite and say, uh, would you mind taking care of my pet while I'm away? No. Sorry, you <laughs> don't. Came <No>. by me. <laughs> you just wanted to reject it, right? Decline the request. <laughs> and then rub it in my face, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, help us with the next one here. <laughs> You're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> uh, could you help me move into a new apartment? No, could you help me move? Remember with could, can, and would, you don't modify the verb, okay? But it's okay. La de Rivas. Will you let me borrow your homework? Good. Eduardo, look at Eduardo Magaña. 
I'm gonna talk to the chair right now, to the seat. <laughs> it's not there. Um, let me see who hasn't participated. Okay, Lenin, last one. Would you mind letting me stay at your place for a while? Yes, would you mind letting me stay? Very good, well conjugated. So I think this is clear, right? The topic is clear, good. So you have understood this. You are already speaking using it, right? Let's go back to the platform and see what we're missing. That thing. Somebody's talking on the phone. We can hear you. I'm gonna mute everyone. Okay, guys, do you have questions? Any questions or is it clear? No, teacher, it was clear. Okay. I'm glad. Very good. Hold on, guys, with the microphone. <laughs> Somebody's talking on the phone. We can hear your conversation. Okay, uh, you'll be guessing the meaning from context and reading for specific information. We are not gonna do that. Let's see, this reading, yeah. If we have time, yeah, we have time. So let's do something. Guys, go to this section and we're gonna read out loud, okay? We're not gonna do this exercise yet, just read. If you finish, and I haven't closed the, the breakout rooms yet, you can go and do the exercise. So everybody go to your platform on exercise 1.11, okay? I want you to read this article in pairs. So one person reads one paragraph, the other one reads the other one, and so on, okay? So read it out. That's the first activity. Second activity is answering the questions if you have time, because we only have six minutes. So you're probably just gonna read. Is that clear? Okay, that's working pairs. Practice your reading, please. Read aloud. Leer en voz alta. Okay, read aloud. Pairs, there is. Accept the invitation, please.
All righty. Did you finish reading? Yes. Can you also answer the questions? No, Juanjo says no. <laughs> I couldn't hear what I said. <laughs> are problematic. <laughs> Sorry? The neighbor are problematic. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, if if you didn't finish reading, finish after class and do the exercise, okay? So that is where we're going to finish tonight. And we will continue on the following section tomorrow. The picture. Sorry? The picture to assistant to... Oh, thank you, Vladimir. Oh my gosh. I had forgotten. Hold on. I think everybody's here. Let me check. 20, 20 people. Yeah, everybody's here. Thank you, Vladimir. I'm gonna take the picture right now. Smile. There it is. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. My pleasure. Bye. 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 B